Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. You know, it's kind of strange because I've been playing a ton of this game and I just haven't been recording or streaming it. I'm going to look to change that. It is, it's very different to play this game off camera than it is on camera, I think. It's much more relaxed, I feel, but I'm up to a 12 streak and I haven't streamed since the last time I recorded this was when I recorded the cat video the last cat video so i've i've won a few runs this afternoon but it was 3 a.m i just finished up my stream and i was like ah i should probably record one so let's run it uh i'm gonna probably just focus on making what i think are the right choices because a lot of times i make picks just for fun so i'm gonna try to make what i think are the correct choices for a little bit and see how far we can actually make it so before you lock in on a curse you should press this to see what you have i think force is very very good i think magical is not that good i think force is like super powerful but i don't want to reroll i think the reroll criteria have changed quite a bit though because we don't care as much the curse pool is much wider so you will never you're gonna sometimes just roll into bad sets. So I think if there is a curse that you perceive as very free, you should take it. I perceive item poison as very free. So I will take it. That is the end of it here, basically. This is the beginning and the end. And I will lean myself back a little bit in my chair, get nice and comfortable, and we will get ready. I feel pretty good though overall. This is lethal if I go this way. Also, next piece of information that I have gathered, never click this. Uh, now, this is only if you want to like try super hard to win. Uh, Herbalist is good. I think that most of your early game is making sure that you have a viable game plan to put damage out quickly uh, now, and that's Herbalist for sure. Because Herbalist is very good at doing damage uh, forever, pretty much. What are you doing? Summoning a Slimelet. Is this like a different type of chest, maybe? Anyway, I'm not going to kill the chest because I don't care to kill the chest. Because it's going to give me like a 0 to 2. I don't know, you can do whatever you like here. Something else I've been doing a lot more in my free time is... Like when I'm not tryharding for... YouTube to make sure that I do everything perfect. Uh, what I'm noticing is I just let people die sometimes to save mental computation time and is worth it. Uh, do you go quiver here? I actually think you do go quiver here. Quiver has a nice combo later on. Doesn't do much now, but if you see wax seal, it becomes what one, two, three, four. I think it's like six damage, maybe something like that. Because mage change, you can just roll into zero every time now. But we'll see. I've picked up a few other things so far that are worth noting. Uh, the big one that I learned today is if you take the monster HP curse, uh, be careful if you have meddler, because the bones come in at 5 HP, and that gets very scary. But for the most part, I've just kind of been chilling. It's really easy to spin up a run of slice and dice when I'm just sitting here. Like, I'll be watching a Twitch stream and I'll go, I want to do something. And then I just bang out a run real quick. Uh, Ranger versus Bard. Ranger got a lot better. Bard is pretty nice, though. I think I go Bard. It's He's unassuming. I know he seems not very good. But Shield 1 Cleanse is really, really good. Like, you have to understand. And also, he lets you roll to zero always, because else is just as good as any of his other sides. So you can roll to zero pretty consistently with this guy now and be happy about it. Hmm. I think I will actually go for the alpha here. I can set him to seven. Effectively, he's at five here. And he's going to do more than the wolves are going to do. Hmm, that's a good roll. There you go. Uh, Hoarder dies here. So we have to kill the one that's targeting him. Technically, I should roll Bard down there to see if I can hit a little more uh, cantrip shielding. We're already fine here. Our curse is very free. 
So I don't need to worry too much. He might run, actually. No, I'm on... I'm actually nowhere near him running. I'm on... He's on 16. Or we're on 16 there, I mean. Worn Arms, Sapphire. I think Sapphire is fine. Worn Arms is also okay, but, like, it's definitely Sapphire. Just remember, it's item poison. Very often, I forget about it, and then I just poison myself. I have else to clear it, though, so it's not a big deal either way. This team is so good, by the way. I've played some real stinkers. This team is so good at rolling damage. Order Thief? I mean, I've been a long-time Thief hater, but I think I'm basically just over it, and then Herbalist Mage are popping off. They aren't missing either? Look at this shit. It's partially, I think, Thief is having an easier time because of uh, Bard giving extra rerolls. Berserker? Hell yeah, dude. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, no need to give him anything. I think he's just fine. No growth. Three damage. My other recent recent development, I think, is you just lock Death Wish because it's very close anyway. I'll kill the goblin. There's no reason to let the mage die here. I was about to, but there is no reason to let him go. He can live. Yeah, you're only missing out on one damage, so unless you need it, the extra one damage, that is, unless you need the extra one damage to kill, uh, I don't think it matters. And the extra one damage only really is needed if you're fighting zombies. This is Enchanted Shield. Add Wham to the two ray sides times two versus targets with shields. It just doesn't do anything. I guess Cantrip Shield could get stronger, but... Enchanted Shield gives me one shield every time. Wham on this is like maybe every... I don't... It's so rare, actually. Because it's going to have to hit the enchant... It's going to have to hit the shield twice on one target. How does that ever happen? It like doesn't, right? I can't think of a way. So like in this position, right? It would be like one, two, three, four... It'd be, so you have to roll the side, which is a one and six, and then you have to hit any unit for the first roll. And then the second roll, you'd have to hit that unit again. I just don't see it. The enchanted shield, though, I'm noticing may not be as good as I thought, because it is, it's plus one armor, but you're poisoned, which is like minus one health every turn. So, unless you cleanse it, I guess, which I can else, else it off, but... There are better things to do with my X's than this, I feel. Good enough. Just all very interesting stuff to think about. This is not a thought. It's juggler by a lot. All really good. I'm gonna take this off of Berserker. Everything here looks very good, though. I think I'm so strong that I'm going to very comfortably kill this sarcophagus. That's how good we are here. You can go growth on the cantrip shield, I suppose. We cleared both gnolls, and I think I have more than enough damage to kill sarcophagus as well. Oh yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. You're on 10, he's, effect he's on 9, he's effectively on 6 here. Just keep in mind how much damage you need for lethal, right? Wow. Uh-huh. He's on 4, he's on 2 right now. I roll. Okay, he's dead. Good. I was gonna be... you were probably gonna want to mute the video if I missed this, because that was gonna become a little bit insufferable. Scepter? One damage lead? Thing's fine. No... Chainmail? Corruption. Corruption's actually kind of good for Herbalist, but... Because if you're putting regen on it may not save them then, but it'll save them later. Chainmail is weird. I think I'll take Corruption. 
Mostly I'll use this to counteract poison. So if you haven't seen this item before, this keyword is kind of hard to get your head around. Lead is basically if the side, if, if your ally's sides share a type and the type for this is damage, it gets a plus one. And the one is based on how many pips. So you swing and all damage sides get a plus one for the remainder of the turn, basically. You, uh... <laughs> You can extrapolate this to any, like, I think, I don't know if it works, but I assume if you put like a self shield on, it would then work there as well. Like no more, no more damage if you self shield and things like that. But I am guessing. I don't know for sure. Or not no more damage, uh, plus one damage, sorry. A little bit, uh, a little bit scattered there. I didn't see I left you at one HP. That one is my bad. Your lesson of the day is don't leave a juggler on 1 HP because uh, they will take that to 0 HP very quickly. Sorry? Oh, you're hitting yellow. Fnatic is hitting my herbalist. My fault. Letting juggler die is a bit of an oversight, but... It does go along with my more recent opinion, which is just that it doesn't really matter as much as it once did. I am a pretty big believer in Sparky, especially with the reroll, so he has a better chance of hitting. But Fiend is probably the right pickup here. I'm gonna go Sparky. I think if you go Sparky, you just throw someone out of Sapphire to help him along. And you just gotta be careful that we don't uh, fuck up here, basically. You lock that. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, and Juggler's just dying because she's low HP. Got it. This enemy, Carrier, though, I think is one of the scariest of the new enemies. Yeah, my fault, Juggler. That one's on me. This saves a hero, I die. Does this save Barbara or Berserker? Yes, it does. Okay. Interesting. Put myself into a bit of an awkward spot here. For sure. <laughs> um. Yeah, this sucks. This heal to regen thing kind of sucks. How strange. Because you just can't save anyone. So what we need to do here, by the way, is we just have to make sure that we walk away from this fight. This is a hard fight. Uh, so all I have to care about is surviving it. And it's not going to kill me. It's just going to kill people, pretty much. Yeah, I think there's no way. I'm, I'm going to take this corruption item off of my herbalist, by the way. This thing was awful. That's the lesson learned here. But we go set this guy to two, and then next turn I basically can't die because I can zap the top carrier if I need to. So I will always survive from this spot because this enemy is much like, I don't know if I already said this, but this is a lot like fighting fanatics. You just have to wait for them to kill themselves. They just put a lot more damage on you on the way to them dying. Oh, you're dead to sap, actually. Now we want to take our time through this fight. Focus tall, heal, self heal sides? Uh, sure. I'm gonna take the evil heart off. I think it ended up not being very good. Uh, and I'm gonna try to stop letting my juggler die. I don't want to do this. Just to give the extra 1 HP here to Juggler. Because Juggler's going to throw into Imps a lot, and I can else the poison off, maybe. Hey, what do you know? We're going to do an Imp. 
I'm not gonna hold else here though. Ah, juggler. Okay, so we go zap first. Heal one. I'm gonna else the juggler so she doesn't just kill herself. Could vine for one more HP, actually. I think I will. Because my goal here really is to get out of this without any death. Okay, juggler. Good. Where does this put me, actually? I think we're pretty close. Or not. I'm gonna lock the two. I'll roll these three dice. That works. And now, even though we took some deaths, it's like it never happened. Back to full HP, all is well. Super interesting pick, uh, and I mean that sincerely. The interesting part about this pick is that if I'm gonna play towards mana, Poet is basically the GOAT. He's so good in mana teams. But I don't know if I'm playing towards mana or not. My items aren't indicative. So I end up leaning towards Barbarian. And I, I think it's very safe. It's very easy to pick Barbarian here. He is the goat for a reason. But I think most of the yellows right now are very good. So I don't feel like you have to pick Barbarian. That is my, my current stance. Uh, you'll be fine, juggler. And I'm not worried about Baron at all. Barbarian just hits him one time from this spot and he dies. This is probably lethal, come to think of it. Yeah. It is. All you have to do is break intangibles and then the boss falls down. I think, I think localizing the item is good. Cart? Probably not. I am going to not click on lead and handle anymore. I've done my time clicking on this item. I can't actually conceive of a situation where I want this. Maybe if you if you have remove all keywords, it's probably okay. But that's about it. And I don't have remove all keywords here. Also, the idol, the consonant idol should have gone to juggler here. No doubt. This chomp is gonna be annoying. Mm -hmm. Or not. Or it's just gonna die. I'll kill the snake as well. I need to be more aware though. I really don't give Juggler the respect that she deserves. I don't watch her health very closely. Another tip, don't click these. Stoic Shaman. I don't like Stoic, but I think Stoic is fine. I don't hate Shaman, but uh, Shaman is only good if you have things that are good for Shaman, right? Like Shaman doesn't scale very well, doesn't support the team very well. Stoic is fine. Ultimately, all of the grays are just about fine, so I don't mind clicking on Stoic here. I think he's okay. I'm not happy to click on him, but I'm not mad about it either. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking about it, right? Like, surely it's easier to just kill this guy. We can redirect pain now. I know that. Twisted bar. Pretty good. It's solid because it opens up a lot of characters to being very good that are otherwise not great. It's fine now and it opens up some really good stuff later, so I'm happy to take it. That's the general theory, but how good will it be? It's gonna depend. If they show me... Sorry, if they show me wizard or sorcerer, it's going to be like the best pickup of my life. 
if they show me Warlock, I'm probably less interested. You're on five. All good. Sorcerer, sure. I haven't really played too much of Sorcerer, uh, basically at all, because he's a bastard. But, you know, I have Twisted Bar. Let's give him a shot. That is my feeling. Hate this guy, he's a real scumbag. Let's give him his fair shot. Also, he plays very well with Juggler. Extra rerolls good. He made 10 mana. That's solid. Do you think you can redirect the top death? Didn't think about that until just now. You should do it to yourself, juggler. You know, let it be. Grantus is dead. You are 10. This is 8. Goodbye, Tarantus. Lion Singularity. I think Lion is absurd for Barbarian. This is Add Fierce, which is target flees if they have N or less HP after the attack. So Barbarian hits this, and N is equal to the pips. So Barbarian hits this 10. Anything at 20 or less HP leaves. This kills bosses from like half health. And if we get Helm of Power as our last pick, the side becomes kill an enemy from 40 HP, which is so absurd. Obviously, you don't want him to die in most fights, but... Okay, Juggler, you don't have to do it. It's fine. You can just chill, buddy. You might actually end up dying here anyway. What do you think, Barbarian? You got this? Oh, Barbarian's got your back. What a buddy. Now, you know what? Actually, I'll do it. I'll save Juggler. I don't know if it's worth it. I would argue maybe not, but... <laughs> Fuck. My fault. I didn't know. I wasn't looking. Okay, I'm gonna roll here. I don't want this. I want you to roll something else. Sure. Why not? Six damage, two. Putting pain on Barbarian. Hmm. I don't care about that. Yeah, I didn't see the pain coming for Sorcerer. I wasn't looking. They got me. Redirect pain. Super nice that you can do that. Dancer Doctor. Doctor is very good. Uh, yeah, basically, Doctor is just very good. Dancer is the sorcerer synergy they they like each other a lot so i think i will pick dancer but doctor is also fine i think the thing is there's only one dancer there's only one character that gives me cantrip reroll to help sorcerer there are a lot of two 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 mana uh reds that we can pull but there's only one dancer there's only one dancer it is true we're just rolling for a good fierce out of bark every turn. Whatever you want, buddy. Not that one, though. Can you redirect your death? <laughs> no. It would be pretty funny if you could, though. No, you could take this. Stoic, he just kind of face tanks things, and that's fine. Let him be him. I want to kill Barb. I know it's very wrong. I'm impatient. I want to send him. But I will not.
You know, I just, you just gotta wonder, maybe you're supposed to. Just think about it, that's all. Pretty close to lethal, actually. I just need these three and then I need like two mana, I think. Okay, I was about to start bitching, so you did a good thing. I needed a little more than two mana, but that was good enough. Second heart makes Barbarian have so much health and then he just dies anyway. Uh, Charged Hammer I don't really respect, but honestly, the Giga Stoic? Sheesh man, 30 health. How much could you get him up to, actually? 36? That's pretty good. Barb definitely holds this. Yeah, no doubt. He's so stoic. Marcus Aurelius, eat your heart out. Oh god, this is such an unfortunate fight. I was not aware of the cantrip problem here. Oh, I can make him flee. Sick. Oh, this fight's so nice. It's a pretty fucked up fight, but the fierce farms it for you. Cool. The hand. Ooh, I love both of these, actually. I'm a very, very firm believer in fate. I think fate is super good, but I think Surgeon is a little better here because I can kill and res Barbarian. Both options are very solid, though. Uh, anything I want to equip here? No. Just of note that uh, I on this item poison curse, I've only put on four items. Just worth making a note of somewhere. Let's see, so I can kill from twenty-two here. I don't think he needs to die yet. He re-rolls. Oh, this is Sorcerer into the Hand. An actual all-time classic. Dancer Sorcerer versus the Hand. That's right. This is not a very fair matchup often. What are you on? You're on 48. Let me count it up real quick. Let me make sure I don't have Lethal. Because missing Lethal here would be very upsetting. 32. Close, though. Very close, very close. Uh, I'll take the redirect on Stoic, because I think I'm going to need it to keep Sorcerer alive. Oh, I fucked up. I wasn't supposed to lock Sorcerer's mana. My fault. You good, Stoic? He's good. Don't worry about it. Uh, I should always draw lethal next turn. I rolled uh, my fault on Sorcerer there, basically. I would be shocked if I didn't pull lethal here. You roll for mana. Or not mana, rerolls, I mean. Yeah, I mean, surely we get lethal here. That was six rerolls we just got. And that should lead into more rerolls. Uh, guys? Hmm. Interesting. Not lethal. Hey, what are you on? You're on 19? He's, on, he's taking seven. I can put eight. He's taking six. This is lethal. I found it. I was thinking about it and I was like, there's got to be a combination here where I can burst him down. Now, it's not over yet, to be fair. And we are a little weaker here. Hmm. Let me take that. Okay, good. Just keep rolling. Oh, you don't actually live? Hmm. Well, we kill that guy for sure. 
And then I think you just pick Barbarian back up. Yeah, I mean, both Sabres are off next turn. I'd be really shocked if I didn't win. Four plus three, nah, we're rolling for mana. Huh. Interesting. Not quite, but it's close to lethal. Okay, now we have it for sure, right? Uh, one more mana roll, perhaps? Okay. There we go. Just, it's like... It felt like it should have been very free, and it was fairly easy, but definitely a little bit more touch and go than it seemed like there. It should have been. It was a lot of poison in the leadoff shot, but, you know, all good. I am pretty happy with how Stoic performed there. He did a good job. Just soaking up all the poison for me. And Sorcerer, he's still kind of a bastard with his double X's, but... What can you do, basically? Surgeon did admirably. Dancer did what Dancer was supposed to do. A very solid, like, clear-cut run. No real notes. Uh, I have one note, actually. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know how you felt about this. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a bit of a stride with this game right now, where I can cruise through basic party runs, but... I'll try to mix in some interesting stuff now and then. But I kind of want to grind out a big streak first, if I can. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.